What's up YouTube, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we're gonna be looking at Agent Jones. Now for this video, we're gonna be looking at the Jump 88 Edda Stout. So without further ado guys, let's get this review started. So Agent Jones. Now I have covered the other five Edda Styles in separate videos. So it was time for actually to cover the Jump 88. Now this is the final style we do unlock for the Agent Jones, which actually makes him have a poncho now, which is actually very weird. I could see why he has this. It does have like a whole Native American feel to it. And it also fits very well with the whole primal theme of the season. Now we've seen our man Agent Jones actually go through a lot of different changes, which is actually very cool. And I actually do miss when skins actually did this in the battle pass. So is it better than the original? That's hard to tell. This edit style is basically the evolution of Agent Jones going through the seasons. And it's just overall very solid skin. You do see him having the glove from Ryu still and then the armor underneath that poncho and overall I don't think it's better but it fits perfectly with the outfit. So what's my final rating for the Jump 88 Edda Stout? I'm gonna have to give the Jump 88 Edda Stout an 8 out of 10. Now the skin itself for the most part fits very well with this whole thing. Now the only reason I'm giving him an 8 is because I do still think that the Jump 31 Edda Stout is still the best one and then you just have so many styles for Agent Jones that is not the worst but it's not the best either. So without further ado guys, let's get this combo started. Now for our first combination with Agent Jones, we're going to be pairing him up with the Survivor's Pack. Now the Survivor's Pack matches really well with the whole brownish and red color schemes, basically because it matches really well with the poncho. Then for the harvesting tool, we're going to be going with the Batsicle. Now the Batsicle was one of my favorite harvesting tools back during season 1, and I just like the simple design of it and the brown color scheme that goes really well with the skin. Then for the Contra, we're going to be going with the Spectral Essence. Now this is a very simplistic control and it fits perfectly with the whole thing. Then for the glider we're going to be going with the Conquest. Now hear me out, the Conquest is the perfect glider for him, especially with the design it does have on top of the glider and then the curse scheme. Then for the ride we're going to be going with the Call Sign Falcon. Now the Call Sign Falcon does have this brownish texture that goes very well with the outfit. Then for next combination with Agent Jones we're going to be pairing him up with the Barrel and Booty. Now for the back lane, we're going to be going with the Anchor Map Edda Style since it does have the swords on top of the Anchor which actually does have the red color scheme that it matches really good with the glove. Then for the Harvesting Tool, we're going to be going with the Combat Knife. A very universal Harvesting Tool but it matches really well with the brown aesthetics it does have on the handle. Then for the Contra, we're going to be going with the Ballistics. Now the Ballistics is just ammunition on both hands and feet and it just looks very clean with him. Then for the Glider, we're going to be going with the Salvage Shoot. A very simple glider but it fits very well with the whole theme of Agent Jones. Then for the ride we're going to be going with the crafted cardboard. The crafted cardboard does have this brownish color scheme and then a little bit of red with that heart on it that looks very clean and complements the outfit. Now for the next combination with Agent Jones we are going to be going with an all primal combination so we're going to be pairing him up with the hunter's trophy. Now the hunter's trophy color scheme matches really well but it does have that whole primal feel especially with the skull that matches really well with the season. Then for the harvesting tool, we're going to be going with the chainsaw. Now the chainsaw itself is just a dinosaur's skull with the chainsaw, but it fits perfectly with the backlink. Then for the control, we're going to be going with the storm strike. Now the storm strike itself matches really well with this whole combination just because of the lining itself. And if you see Godzilla vs King Kong, you're going to know why. Then for the glider, we're going to be going with the shellfish. Now the shellfish glider is just a skull from a fish and it matches really well with the whole skull, backlink and harvesting tool combination. Then for the ride, we're gonna be going with the Mayhem. The Mayhem does have this roughed up look to it, but it matches perfectly with the theme. And then keeping the whole primal theme, we're gonna be going with the Agent Jones with the backlink, the Hollow Horn. Now the Hollow Horn is basically just a tusk made to a horn that you do use for battle, and it fits perfectly with the theme. Then for the Harvesting Tool, we're gonna be going with the Primal Sting. The Primal Sting itself does have this very old school crafting look to it that goes very well with the backlink. Then for the Contra, we're going to be going with the Spectral Essence. Now the Spectral Essence for being very simplistic, it still matches perfectly with this combination and theme. Then for the Glider, we're going to be going with the Bone Patrol. Now the Bone Patrol does have this whole primal theme to it that goes very well with the back thing and harvesting tool. And for the Rat, we're going to be going with the Callsign Falcon. Again, the Callsign Falcon is called upon for this combination, but you have to admit that the brownish color scheme is very subtle but effective. Then for our next combination with Agent Jones with the Jump 88 Edda Stout, we are going to be pairing him up with the Bad Attitude. Now the bad attitude is very simple. 
it's just a backlink with a bat on it but it fits very well with the whole team especially with the whole construction and like fortifying the pois that looks very clean then for the harvesting tool it was a no-brainer the harley hitter was the perfect match the harley hitter with the all simple design of a bat matches perfectly with the backlink then for the control we're gonna be going with the sip ribbon now again a very simplistic control with this combination but you have to admit that the most simple combinations are the best then for the glam we're gonna be going the founder's umbrella the all military camo for the founder's umbrella being brown just complements the poncho he is wearing then for the rat we're gonna be going with midas memory now midas memory fits very well just because of the brown aesthetics it does have and then the little bit of gold is just an added bonus then for our last combination with agent jones we're gonna be pairing him up with the trophy sack now agent jones just could have been hunting people to actually add to his collection especially because he was out of the loop and now that he's in it it's just terrifying for all the creatures that are inside the map then for the harvesting tool we're gonna be going with the leviathan axe now you do need something to decapitate the creatures in the map so the leviathan axe being a giant axe fit perfectly then for the control we're gonna be going with the sap light now the sap light does have these fireflies leaving the body but it matches really well with the whole brown texture then for the glide we're gonna be going with the junk jet now we are going a lot primal in this season so having the junk jet that is just old school and looks like handmade fit perfectly then for the wrap what can we go with the mayhem the mayhem wrap for the most part does have the scratches and like beat up look to it but it also has this brownish color scheme that goes very fitting with the outfit now for the honorable mentions with the agent jones with the jump 88 edit stout you could pair him up with anything that does have like a yellowish or brownish color scheme anything with the primal look is gonna look perfect with this outfit Now, those were the six combinations I did find for Agent Jones with the Jump 88 Ada Styles. Let me know in the comments below which one's your favorite. And if you're new to my channel, subscribe. I post videos every fake cosmetic skins every single day. And if you want to support the channel, my code is Enigma Kid, all caps, two Ds, all together. Each time you guys use my code near the item shop or the Epic Game Store, I do get a small percentage of it and it really helps this channel grow. And if you guys have any combo suggestions, leave them in the comments below. And for all my social media and Discord, they'll be in the description. And with that being said, guys, I'll catch you guys in the next video. See ya.